guys, it's Jazzy, and I'm here with the one and only Sean Paul. Mr. Paul, how you doing today? What's up? I'm very good today. How are you? Thanks for having me. Thank you for being here, and also thank you for the interview. Yeah, man. One love. <laughs> I'm doing great. Thank you for asking. So how does it feel to see the global growth of the dancehall genre since the late 1990s? It's an awesome feeling to know that you believed in a music that's you know, became this big that a lot of people, you know, are emulating and also just, you know, consuming. It's very awesome. Yeah. yeah, for sure. And you've been in this music game for a long time. And my mom told me how how much you've been able to influence the music game and contribute to the popularity of the genre. And I think that's like real cool. Yeah, right. And by the way, just so you know, oh, no problem. And by the way, just so you know, I'm Panamanian. And a lot of no. people from Panama love dancehall, reggae, yeah. and they really love those genres. So it's just part of our culture. Exactly, yeah. And, and dancehall is a blend of a lot of different things, but also, you know, we help to influence many different music as well. So thank you, mommy. Tell her thank you for the history lesson and appreciate it. Hey, shout out to my mom. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> so, how do you feel dancehall music has paved the way for newer genres such as Afro beats? Yeah, I definitely think it, it has influenced it. Uh, if it's the exact same thing, no. Uh, but it's definitely had an influence over a lot of these type of musics, uh, reggaeton being one of them. Um, we love that fact that it's you know a, a different music, right. but also that we help to you know give some inspiration there. That's just an awesome feeling. Yeah, for sure. I can agree with that. And also, Afrobeats and Dancehall have a lot of similarities. Yeah. They have like upbeat tempos and they have positive vibes to it. And that's why I like Dancehall and that's why I like Reggae as well and Afrobeats and all that stuff, right? Uh, because of the positive vibes that it has. Yeah, awesome. And, you know, just the, just the groove for the rhythms make people feel good, even if they're talking some crazy stuff as well. <laughs> Sometimes that happens too, but the groove it just makes you feel happy, man. It makes you want to move. You know? Yeah, for sure. They're both great in their own ways, too. Yeah, like the rhythm definitely. and everything like that, because it has like that upbeat tempo yeah, cool that gets you excited. Makes you want to dance, make you feel good. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. So a little known fact about Mr. Sean Paul is that he used to be in a water polo team in his younger years. Yeah, <laughs> so how did you get into that sport, and how did it make you feel to represent your country of Jamaica? Um, I was proud to, to wave the flag. As a kid, you know, I was... Uh, the the child of two champion swimmers. My mom and my pop swam for Jamaica in the fifth in the sixties. Uh, my grandfather was on a water polo team in the fifties in the Commonwealth Games. So when it came up to me, you now I, I started to swim competitively when I was thirteen. But ever since, you know, my parents would throw me in the water and say, "Look, he's swimming," and teach other people to swim. So it was family, uh, like a you know family tradition type thing, and it. it just uh, something that, that music kind of took over for me when I was 20. But uh, yeah, something that gave me a big discipline in my life. Loved it. And I still, still swim and play water polo when I can. Wow, that's amazing. Yeah. I like that, that you've been able to still go in the water and play because I think that's real cool. Appreciate it. You have to keep fit, you know? Yeah, it is important to keep fit. I know that you've been able to do that for a long time now, and I think it's great that you've been able to represent your country in either a sport or music, and I bet you, it felt like an honor to you. Thank you. It definitely does feel like an honor. You know what I mean? You, uh, even me being on the parade today, uh, it, it, uh, you, know, you feel like you're representing for everyone that, that where you come from. Yeah. That's an important thing to do to represent them properly, and also just a, a great feeling. Yeah, representation is very important. So many people have covered your songs over the years. So have you ever heard the belly cover of your song, Temperature? No, <laughs> oh, you mean with the guy patting on his belly? Yeah, I've seen that bit, he's funny. Um, I liked how he was you know, doing the two things at once, he was multitasking, right? Right. He was playing the music with his belly. <laughs> and, then, and then he was singing the lyrics. It was pretty cool. Um, uh, did he do any more videos after that? I'm not really sure. But I do know that that must have been, like, real hard because, like, that's hard to sing yeah, while you're same time, just like, tapping your belly, trying to go with the beat. He's a talented dude. Must be a musician, too. That's what I was wondering, if he did more stuff. But, yeah. <laughs> 
Alrighty then. You have collabed with so many artists in different genres over the years. So how have you been able to commercialize your sound without losing your musical identity? Um, you know, I pay attention to the roots and, and, and what's happening in Jamaica as well, in my own culture, uh, and that, that helps. And because I love it so much, you know, I wanted to represent it proper. You know, uh, you know, there's times where you may, you know, be doing an interview and your 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 brand is important to you, so you represent it in the best way that you can. Um, it's the same thing for me when it comes to music. So yes, it does get popular, and sometimes the flavor of it changes. But I like to you know keep the root, and uh, as you said, keep my integrity that way. Right, it's great that you've been able to keep your root, as you said, especially with collabing with so many people in other genres. Yeah. And I feel like that's a great part of your career that you've been able to just like maintain that integrity and stuff. In a while. Yes. Uh, thank you. By the way, I'm not calling you old. I'm just, I'm, just, I'm not calling you old, by the way. I'm just no, stating all like the success that you've been through. Thank you. Appreciate no problem. It. So can you please share some words of motivation to everyone watching my show? Yeah, um, you know, for, for everyone who's into art, art is creation. I know, uh, and it's, it's, it's a very uh, self-expressive thing to do. And so I think you should really come from the heart with it at first. A lot of other things follow, some very good, some very hard to deal with. Um, so you got to be prepared. Uh, art is fun, but be prepared for, for crazy stuff. Um, and, and that can help you to ac actually create more. Always use situations to create the best that you've been uh, you've been given a talent, so create the best things with, with any situation, whether positive or negative. You guys heard it from Mr. Sean Paul himself. Yeah. And until next time, jazzing out. Hey. <laughs>